Butterfly gon' recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime road. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'ma tell you what happened. He got smoked. That was crazy out there. Thomas Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the fire flies. We used to rap it like that. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. Click and blam. Follow me on Instagram, Vada underscore fly. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate every single one of y'all that do and whatnot and whatnot, man. So, yo, JC. Woo! Salute to JC, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? One of the legendary battle rappers from the Midwest. I say a legendary because I respect what he's been able to do as far as with his catalog, who he's battled, and things like that. But I've often said in correspondence to JC, a lot of the higher tier battle rappers give him flack, whether it be for the battles that he takes, whether it be for some of the names that he takes at times. A lot of people look at it like, yo, why is he battling against said battle rapper? So, him and Sue Surf, you know, they've been going back and forth for a little minute, you know what I'm saying? Like, they go back and forth, then, you know, JC challenges Sue Surf to battle, then the battle never happens, and then whoop de whoop So, um, you know, Sue Surf, he got Calico coming up on Till Death Do Us Part, the Drake card, etc. But, he has taken time to, to shoot some more at JC, you know what I'm saying? Because JC is battling on a card coming up um, against an MC named Kuji. Oh, LL Kuji. Yes, LL Kuji. Yeah, I know LL Kuji. He's got a Gangsta Grills, DJ Drama Tape, whatever the case may be. But this card is called Anybody Can Die League. That's the name. But they spelled League wrong on the card. So uh, this battle is supposed to be going down Saturday, November 20th. And, uh, you know, it's supposed to be going down uh, 116 East 12th Street. I don't know the city, I don't know the state, or whatever the case may be, but it's got uh, Noah versus Next, Big Cannons on there versus The Saga, JC versus LL Cool G. You got a Great Britain versus Jack Boy Maine. Then Great Britain's on the card again, battling against B Matt. This nigga got two battles in one night? Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. When you start rapping like that, that nigga got two battles in one night. So, Sue Surf, <laughs> salute to. Uh, what league is this? Uh, anybody can die at Battle League. Spell the card. You gotta check. Double check the flyers. Every time you niggas get to alignments, I got to do some realignment. Double check the flyers. It says strippers on deck. Forty dollars at the door. Seems like a supreme level of niggatry, but it's all good. I'm still here for you. Strippers on deck. Food on deck. It says uh, greens, dressing, macaroni, spaghetti, chicken. Yeah, this is some supreme nigga shit. But. Salute to anybody can die battle league. Like I said, spell got 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 to get the name right. Um, so the card is called the Invasion, right? And JC's battling on the card, whatever the case may be. And Sue Surf automatically, you know, he jumps out the he, he jumps out there and disses him. He says, JC, they didn't even care to spell the league right. This is where your life is at. How you a top tier with more no name battle league than big battles? Sniff, sniff, your panties stink. This is the sh that Sue Surf, he be using this type of, you know what I'm saying? Like he, he go at him in ways that he could talk down on people's career and talk down on people's accomplishments. Your accomplishments ain't accomplishments. Arsenal, whatever Arsenal said. This is where your consciousness, consciousness, whatever, right? So this leads back to Sue Surf earlier in the week. He was on Clubhouse, MC was on there trying to talk crazy to him. And he just he talks he he gets busy with you like he'll 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 minimize sm anything small intestine right so JC responds and says surf stop acting like you know I know you right you know I know you right this ain't a lane you want to cross into this ain't a lane you want to cross you know this right basically saying yeah you feel you feel like this is something you want to do, but I'm telling you this ain't what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So Sue Surf, uh, you know, he's gonna continue to pour gasoline on the fire. You know what I'm saying? Like he's not gonna, that's not gonna get him. So he says, time out. This nigga Great Britain is battling twice. LOL. Whoever loses to him has to quit forever. Like I said, he's got Jack Boy Main and B Magic on every fucking card that he's battling these two niggas on the same night same card it's probably gonna be three round battles 
Somebody's probably gonna get some decent shit. Somebody gonna get some nasty work. It's very, it's very rare. <laughs> I mean, no, I seen Ill Will do it. Maybe he'll do it too. I don't know. I haven't seen many Great Britain battles, but you know, salute to him and everything that he's got going. So, back to JC. JC, uh, he then calls out Sue Surf uh, again and saying uh, the narrative is now on him. Pound sign, sign the contract, Surf. Basically telling him, like, look, nigga, sign the contract. Because, you know, there was whisperings and rumblings about the JC versus Surf battle on the Drake card. I don't know where that went, but I know that there, there was rumors, allegedly, about it. But it never came to fruition. And now you have Sue Surf coming across this card where, you know, JC's battling against LL Kuja. And LL Kuja, he's been having... Uh, you know, he's been having a pretty good year. He's been battling a lot of names. He battled, uh, I think, the Saga. He battled Ill Will. Uh, like, he'd be getting battles, you know what I'm saying? He battled Rum Nitty before. Like, this nigga, he'd be, he be having battles, you know what I'm saying? And then he, I think he was on the King of the Dot shit, too. Like I said, he's got a gangster grills with DJ Drama. I mean, how many niggas can actually say that, you know what I mean? But, um, it, it, <laughs> you, you gotta, JC, I, I, I fuck with what you do, but. You definitely don't want to be on flyers where the word Lee is not spelled right. Like that's like that's like the top thing, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like you gotta the presentation is everything. And I'm not and the card the the, the way it's crafted and designed, it looks pretty decent. It looks like a standard battle rap card. It's just a name. It's, it can't be spelled wrong, my nigga, like that, that. Cause then you have you give a nigga Sue Surf the ammo to say this is where your life is at, like this is where this is where you've gotten to, to where you... Strippers on deck, my nigga. They said strippers on deck. Wings on deck. Spaghetti on deck, nigga. Where is this at? I don't even know what city and state this is in. Where's my invite, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Bring the family out. Bring my niggas out. You know what I'm saying? Like, when, when is this going down, my nigga? They got wings and strippers on deck. Who don't like wings? Who don't like strippers? Who don't like macaroni? Everybody like macaroni, right? Um, but I will say this. Uh, I would definitely like to see... Sue Surf battle against JC because I think that if it does happen, I think that should be his next joint. That's just me. After the Calico, I think JC should definitely because they have like a narrative, a narrative. They've got like shit against each other where you know Sue Surf feels this way and JC feels this way, and you know he can bomb on him. And JC is a very dope MC. I'm not taking nothing away from him. That's why when I speak about these things, I try to speak fair unbiased, unmitigated, and just try to give my personal thoughts, you know what I'm saying? They're going back and forth again, and this ain't even the first time they've done this. They've done this within the last couple of weeks, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, JC was calling out Surf, but what I will say is this. <sighs> Sue Surf, who did good, very good versus John John Don has Calico coming up, and if he brings another three-round performance and shows that this is really something that he's serious about, he could definitely start to turn the wheels. JC, who I rock with, uh, he's not out there enough. You know what I'm saying? Like he's he doesn't really like put himself. And I know there are some MCs, and I'm sure he's one of them that don't really engage with people like that. Like he may drop a tweet once or twice a week or something like that, but he's not really. He don't really. He, I mean, he has a YouTube channel. He has been on it. But he's not like super active on there. Like you're not gonna catch some shit on there from him like every week. And and not it's not really needed per se. But when you have a nigga like Sue Surf taking shots at you and calling, you know what I'm saying, calling you out, and we haven't even seen JC in a little while, and the first card that he pops up on, the card with the word league spell wrong. <laughs> nigga, my nigga, like, who's designing this shit? Like, you gotta grab the nigga that's designing it, like, yo, my nigga. You got to screen the clients. Like you, every time you put these niggas in line, I got to do some realignment, my nigga. Like y'all got to get this shit right. Um, but overall, I do see smoke amongst both MCs, and it could be starting to pick up some traction. Uh, you know, both of them are nice. You know what I'm saying? I will say this: both of them are nice. But what Surf has been doing recently, which is smart, is using some of his light to gain. You know what I'm saying? Like more and more trust within the battle rap community. You see him live, he's going on spaces, he's been on his live stream, 
Uh, he's doing different, he's talking to different people, he's giving game, he's telling, you know what I'm saying? That type of shit puts you in the good graces of people. When you are closeted away and nobody can get in contact with you, nobody really speaks to you, and then you come out, if you don't do good in your battles, niggas is gonna hold that against you. Like, yo, my nigga, like, what the fuck is you doing? But he did good in this battle, and he's been more available. That type of shit bodes well with people. But um, overall, I would like to see JC versus Sue Surf. Make it happen. You know, quit all this yapping. Niggas make it happen. Gang, gang.